welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting breakfast recipe for you guys. It is a pancake recipe that I've been holding out for quite a while now um, because I felt like my channel was turning into breakfast and dessert recipes, which is basically what I eat, but I wanted to kind of add a little bit more like dinner and lunch meals in there and like smoothies and stuff. So um, today I'm going to be finally sharing my secret fluffy gluten-free pancake recipe, which I know you're going to love. Even if you have the pickiest eaters in your family, if you make them a batch of these fluffy gluten-free pancakes, they won't know the difference. They're going to love them. They're going to think they're like traditional, like... McDonald pancakes. These are better than McDonald pancakes and I used to think those were pretty good growing up. So hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Let's jump right in and I'll show you guys how to make them. You're going to need some unsweetened almond milk, brown rice flour, some sea salt, cinnamon, and baking powder to make them extra fluffy, vanilla extract, coconut oil which we're going to melt, two eggs, and a very ripe banana. So easy, simple ingredients, which is why I love this recipe. You're gonna start by peeling your banana and just mashing it up with a fork. You just wanna get it to a pretty smooth consistency, kind of like an applesauce, I guess. It's just so it's gonna mix really well with the other ingredients and it's not gonna be lumpy. To that, you're gonna add your melted coconut, which I always let cool a little bit at room temperature so it doesn't kind of make the eggs curdle. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add in my almond milk, two eggs, and my vanilla extract. And that's basically all the wet ingredients. We're just gonna stir it up. As you notice, there's no extra added sugar in this recipe. The banana makes them sweet enough. Don't forget to head over to healthnutnutrition.ca for the full recipe. You can go ahead, print it, save it, or share it with a friend. Now, you guys already know this by now, I love to just add in my dry ingredients with a sifter. It doesn't use up another bowl, and it just really adds air and lightness to the pancakes or whatever recipe I'm using it for. And then I just start to fold it in with a spatula and just until it's a little bit mixed in so the flour doesn't go flying. And then I'll switch to a spatula, or sorry, not a, I switch to a whisk just to take out any lumps and make it extra creamy before I start cooking these up. Now once your batter is nice and smooth, I like to let it sit just for a couple minutes to rise before I start heating up my pan. So I like to either use some organic butter or coconut oil. I prefer butter for some reason for frying my pancakes, but I mean use whatever you have on hand or it, whatever you enjoy using and I just, like I said, I just think it works well and I like the taste of it. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm using my ice cream scoop here, it's about two tablespoons and I like to measure out my pancakes so all of them are the same size and that way you know how many pancakes you're going to get. This recipe makes eight pancakes so that way if you have eight people or more you know if you need to double this recipe which I highly recommend doubling it because they will go fast. I cook them for a couple minutes on one side, flip them a couple minutes on the next side and you're going to have perfect perfectly golden pancakes that are super fluffy I an extra extra tip I like to do is transfer them to a cooling rack instead of like piling them up all on top of each other to just like cool down and sweat and this keeps them extra fluffy so they can cool down properly now comes the fun part you get to top it with whatever you like I chose some of my favorite toppings I actually use pretty much every Sunday I throw on some natural peanut butter with a little bit of sea salt. If you can't find peanut butter with sea salt, just add it in yourself and you'll have kind of the same thing. And then you're going to throw on some, or I throw on some raw sunflower seeds and some fresh raspberries. And this combination is amazing. Highly, highly recommend it. And then of course, you're going to need some Canadian maple syrup because that's a must when you're making pancakes. Don't use any of that sugar syrup stuff. That's not maple syrup. And this is how I enjoy my pancakes amazing like combination totally love this one and it has been my go-to for the last few months and I've been holding out on you guys I'm sorry but you're gonna love this one trust me make it the next Sunday for your friends and family and share the pancake love with them my gluten-free fluffy pancakes. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. For any of you vegans out there and you're looking for an egg replacement uh, for this recipe, you could probably just sub it with a, a flax or a chia egg um, or maybe applesauce. I haven't tried it out yet for this recipe, but if you do, let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys try out these pancakes, 
please send me a photo on social media using the hashtag HealthNutEats and that way I can find them and like them and share them and I just love when you guys recreate my recipes. I definitely feel like this is a great recipe to keep as a staple for Sunday mornings because that's what I do and the topping of the peanut butter and the raspberries and maple syrup is so good and so delicious. Try it out, it seems a little weird, but it's gonna be really good, I promise. And I guess that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe, you can do so by clicking here. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.